hello, um, Merry Christmas and um, everything. <laughs> um, I know I haven't made a video in a very long time and I'm really, really sorry about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, what I want to talk about was um, Evaneath um, by Brody Ashton. Uh, I don't have the English version because the book isn't even out yet, but I have the German version. Um, that's also not out yet, obviously, but um, I got this pre-reading book thing uh, and um, they allowed me to read it if I just make a review. I read it and it's really, really great. It's like, it's a lot like Twilight, but in, in a better way. It's more intense and more, um, it's deeper. Um, it's more about the characters and the interaction and there's more danger in there um, because, well, probably I'm just going to tell you about the story. Um, it starts with uh, Nikki, who's the main character, uh, waking up from, um, like, sleeping 100 years. Sounds like a Sleeping Beauty, but whatever. Um, but she didn't really sleep. She was like used by um, this dark mystery treasure thing um, who is named um, Cole. Cole is someone who uh, lives forever by uh, using humans, like practically killing them and absorbing their uh, energy, something like that. Um, and Nikki agreed to go with him um, and give him her and energy. But usually, the people who go with these creatures, they um, they forget everything about the life that they had before they went. Um, and that's not what happens with Nikki because Nikki remembers Jack, who was her boyfriend before she left. Um, it's like, it's like an anchor, She's, she just, she still sees his face and she decides to return to her former life, but she can only return for like half a year and then she has to go back. Um, so we don't really see or know the whole story, uh, like why did she go in the first place. Um, we only get to know that uh, little by little through the story. Um, on the same time, we um, we see how Nikki goes back to her life, how she deals with the problems, how she talks with her family more and um, tries to make things right with her best friend and uh, with Jack. And in the end, the unavoidable happens and, well, the shadows come and try to get her and that's really intense, this last scenes. The author, um, Brody Ashton, uh, she really much uh, uses um, Greek uh, ancient stories like um, the story of Orpheus and um, Eurydice. And I really much like that because the story is a lot like that. It's, it's a lot like these tragic big love stories. So I really think that this is like the most romantic story of our time, like the most romantic modern story. Um, because just Nick and Jack, Nikki and Jack, they were just so, so good together and they still fight for this, for this whole life that they had to, to get that back. and. It's really heartbreaking and I, I loved it. it. It was a really, really cool book. So I think it comes out in um, January, so very soon. Um, and if you liked Twilight, you're gonna love that. You really will. And if you didn't like Twilight, maybe you can like that too. I, I don't know. It's definitely worth trying.